After uploading my last video on Ukrainian singer Vlata Ognevich, looking at all the symbolism with the flat earth and the diamonds in the sky, I decided to take a closer look. Let's take a look at this video by Rihanna. Just take a listen to the lyrics. Okay, shining bright like a diamond in the sky. And again, you see the symbolism here. Let's play this song. This version is first, of course, played by the Beatles with John Lennon. With Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Let me play this short clip with Miley Cyrus. This song has been covered many, many times by... Elton John, Bono, many, many others. This song, people love the songs, but they don't understand the concept. There's always a backstory to these songs. You know, the people behind the scenes, these people do not create the lyrics for these songs. Going back in time with John Lennon and all the others, they're given, the songs are given to them by people behind the scenes. And this is a form of mockery taking place here. When the Bible states in Job, basically the sky, the firmament, it's made out of molten looking glass strong and as molten looking glass and again with the stars as i shown before here this is all biblical here everything is within the ferment with all the stars within the ferment nothing comes from outside basically all so-called asteroids and meteors all they are just falling stars that's it okay so don't talk about asteroids meteors coming from outer space when there's no deep space everything is within the firmament states here in the bible three times how stars fall over the earth and this is how you get your diamonds in the sky this is what they're talking about again mockery with all these songs diamonds basically come from stars that's what it all comes down to now, as i shown before i find this interesting diamond is 33 in numerology so is flat earth now Take a look here, going back to the song with Miley Cyrus. Like I said, so many others have sung it originally by the Beatles, John Lennon. They talk about Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Okay, I find it interesting here with this Bible verse from Ephesians 2 2. Ye walked according to the course of this world. That means you go according to the world, you don't go against it, according to the prince of power of the air. Okay, so Lucy in the sky with diamonds, the prince of power in the air represents Satan himself, who's in the air, and you cannot see him. Okay, so when you take a look, this Masonic symbol, the double-headed eagle and the crown, and no one's wearing the crown, the prince of power in the air, is unseeable force of this world. And this, of course, is the sky in 33. Okay, there you go. Now, another symbol... Just might be a little bit off topic, but it's very relevant. How they have duality with Freemasonry. There's you know, many different hidden meanings, different symbols. Take a look at this Billy Idol concert from San Francisco. And what do you see in the back? You see a lightning bolt with a crown on top, which is very reminiscent of this. Why do they do this? Why do they devise this? It's because like it states in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, where Jesus stated, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So there you go. This is the reason for this concept. They're putting a crown on Satan's head. Again, with this Bible verse, the prince of power of the air, referring to Satan, the unseen, you know, God of this world, like it states in Corinthians 4.4, 4, how Satan is the God of this world. And just for reference, again from 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, that Satan is the god of this world. That's what it's all about. Devil's Playground with one of Billy Idol's latest albums, or I should say more recent albums over the years. I always talk about Freemasonry, the world of duality, where you're going to hear it lies in the news, truth in music and movies. Take a listen to this song just released last year by the band called The Mountain Ghosts. It's called Choked Out. Just a quick reference to the name of the band, the Mountain Goats, 
Alt refers to Baphomet, of course, the Masonic Go God. Take a listen to the lyrics. Find it very interesting. There you go. Diamonds in the firmament. All reserve, all reserves completely spent. Someone sent up the oxygen tent. The tent as the firmament. They just like the title of the song, choked out. Like you're being suffocated within the firmament. Of course, like I said so many times, the lyrics for these songs are given to them by people behind the scenes. Just take a look at the album cover itself. Just like I mentioned earlier, there is the satanic lightning bolt. You see all the occult in plain sight. You know there's people behind the scenes pulling the strings for this type of music. Now let's take a look at some other connections here as well. I found this interesting with this website called the Museum of Jewelry. They have a 14K firmament sapphire and diamond earring set. The price of $306.60. Again, I talked about diamond being 33. Let's take a look at sapphire. There you go as well, 33. So you get 33 with sapphire and diamond. And these people behind the scenes, these are all masons, these rich and powerful people. If you think this is just a coincidence using firmament when it comes to diamond, let's take a look here as well. And you see this other company, Better Ridge here, State Wellendorf, you have the firmament as well, referring to the diamonds. Gold bracelet with diamond. Okay, again, if you think this is just a coincidence, let's take a look at another company, another jewelry company here. And this is called the 18K Firmament. There you go. I mean, it goes on and on. Now, here is something else found on this one government website. Let me move it up a bit so you can see the URL. And this is for the University of Manchester. Jewel and Murky Firmament. The Diamond Jubilee History of Occupational Health at the University of Manchester. So what is this all about? Jewel in a murky firmament. Now, other interesting connections here as well. Go to geology.com. They talk about how diamonds are formed. There you go. Talk about asteroid impact, how meteors fall, meteorites. And again, this is all within the firmament. Basically... So-called meteorites are nothing more than fallen stars. Same thing with asteroids. These are nothing more than fallen stars. We're always given false definitions to everything. And I found this on NASA's website. It's a complete lie. It says, a falling star or a shooting star has nothing to do with a star. And this is absolutely incorrect. Of course, it's going to give you false meanings. Again, all about duality. It's called a falling star or a shooting star because they are literal falling stars like the Bible mentions like I stated or as I showed earlier. And also take a look here at this website called the Diamond Price Guru. They talk about again how diamonds are formed. Here you go again with outer space. Okay? Talk about meteorites impact and create diamonds. Meteorites, meteors colliding with other objects in space create diamonds. Okay? They even tell you right in front of you, right in front of your face, and people still don't get it. They also they make a reference to the song called Lucy in the, in the Sky with Diamonds. Okay, there you go. And again, this is how those behind the scenes love to mock. They tell you the truth in plain sight with things that seem absolutely ridiculous, such as a music song. And again, this is the world of duality. It states, again, diamonds in the firmament, again, stars as well. The truth is out there, but it's not going to be in the textbooks or on TV. you got to find it for yourself. It's going to be in places that you least expect. Again, such as movies, TV shows. Again, this song here, Choked Out, The Mountain Goats. Very telling.